kind of cases. Thank you very much, Vinod, for bringing up this particular situation because with these so-called heavy situations that we get in our life, sometimes appreciate is not the option for us, right? So in that case, what we can do is acknowledge and actual point to convey. So with the situation similar to Vinod's situation, first we'll acknowledge that I'm sure that there must be some reason behind changing the seat. All of a sudden, it would have been great if you would have asked me and then done did it. So acknowledge and then come to your actual point that you want to convey. Because what happens? In, in these situations, what generally has to happen, it happens. But then, you know, you can take the lead of a impactful person or a very influential person by using this process. I'm sure there must be something which made you do this. The only thing is that if you could have asked this before doing it from me, uh, I would have felt good. But that's okay. You know, then... Close it by saying, but that's okay. Because any which means we are not taking it to the court or we are not doing any kind of a tussle or a fight. So we can just move on by saying, okay, but that's okay kind of a thing. So this is how you can complete that interaction and move forward, leaving a mark in the head of the other person or the people around them. That's what the influence is all about. Mm -hmm. So remember, Vinod, Nisha, and Dambar, whenever you will watch this video, Dambar, in the situations where you can show your impact of speaking, choosing to keep quiet is, is like is like a injustice to your skill. Right? So, for example, in the in Vinod's situation, if he would have chosen, if he, if he would have chose to keep quiet, that would have been injustice. But then, having said this, at the time, at, at the same time, in the situation where Vinod was in that situation, if we would have chosen to argue or show our discontent or show our upset uh, mood. That is also injustice to your influence. Okay, so please make a note of this. Whatever happens, and I'm not talking of the of the extreme things. Okay, I'm talking about the day to day upsetting or exciting things that we are discussing right now, the routine life things. Whatever happens, never let the other person show that you are affected because of them. That's a defeat. Don't accept the defeat. You convey what you want to convey using this process. There are many more processes also. So all the situations will have some different processes, various processes. But for the things that we are talking right now today, follow this process and move on. Leave that mark on them. If someone is doing injustice to you, and you cannot do anything about it or or let's say yes so first situation is someone is doing injustice to you and you cannot do anything about it so don't just stay quiet follow the second process acknowledge acknowledge means acknowledge doesn't mean that confront them acknowledge means telling them that you must be having some reasons to do this but i wish you would have chosen the other path. But that's okay. Yeah? Closing that conversation. But you came out as a winner. You didn't show the frustration, irritation, or anything. You were there standing tall on your ground and mentioning them, you know, this entire thing. Uh, I, I'm sure there must be some reason for you to do this. But it would have been great if you would have chosen something else. Saying this in itself shows that you are unaffected and you have the confidence in you. So confidence is not something which which is um, which 
uh, confidence is not something which we wear. Confidence comes when we handle the situations. So it's not a watch. It's not an accessory that we wear. It's actually how we deal with the situations. Now, in such situations, these two that we are talking today, when you will handle these situations using this process, your confidence level will automatically rise high because you have actually chosen the higher path. Okay, so allow me to mark it over here like this. Um, the one which we not shared was like unfair or heavy situations. This is neutral situations or when people are not following what you want them to do. Mm. Okay. This is how it will be. Let me make it more simpler too. You know, but that's okay is, is a statement which actually is very powerful. Hmm. So, in, in those situations which are neutral situations or which are the situations where people are not following what you want them to do, then acknowledge, appreciate an actual point that you want to convey. This is the process you will follow. But when in the situations which where the people or the situations are unfair or heavy on you, acknowledge, convey the actual point and move on by saying, but that's okay. So this makes you a bigger person. Now your mind may say that what is the use of becoming a bigger person? So the use of becoming a bigger person is that people will look up to you as a leader uh so nisha you uh, nisha you are you got promoted recently so now you are a senior to many people so those many people if you behave or handle the situations these two situations like this in this process they will look up to you as a leader many of them will get inspired by you and they will also start following certain things so in a way by becoming a bigger person you are making this world a better place to live because there will be many people who will be learning the same skills from you and they will start using it also right we know you are a businessman like you are a coach so for you becoming a bigger person means that you are shedding off those insecurities or those low level things that generally creep into us when we are in a business. So your clients, your parents and your students will actually look up to you and will love to do business with you because they know that you are the person who can actually make things happen. Why? Because you have handled the situation right in front of them by becoming a bigger person. So uh, the results from becoming a bigger person come in disguise. First, you become the bigger person with how you say things and automatically the rest of the fruits you keep on reaping later on. Okay, uh, Vinod, I think you wanted to say something. Please proceed. It is that, that person itself, you know, the, the, the anger calms down and then they are so calm and they said, maybe I overreacted and Sometimes, you know, the situation is handled even so easily and smoothly and that pattern is, I've adopted it completely. So now it's like, uh, even if situations sometimes happens with other teams, now our team is so disciplined that we are very cool and calm because I let the kids volunteer. Mm -hmm. I don't put my nose everywhere. So 